Thanks for watching Community Update for Friday, March 13th. I'm Steve Erickson. The situation is changing minute by minute, but this week, Anoka County was added to the list of confirmed cases of the coronavirus. Concerns over COVID-19 are leading to the cancellation of many events and activities. The North Suburban Home Improvement Show, set for Saturday at the Andover YMCA, has been canceled. Many of the activities at the Coon Rapids Senior Center have also been canceled. The city is also canceling larger events in the coming weeks, including the Community Police Academy and the Fix-It Clinic. Anoka County has canceled Law Day, which was scheduled for May 1st. Anoka County Libraries will remain open. However, all programs, events, and classes are canceled until further notice. Expect more delays than usual if you visit the Coon Rapids License Center in the next two weeks. Due to construction, the License Center is down to just four workstations. Normally, seven stations are in use. The center, which is the busiest in the county, has been undergoing renovations since last fall. Once completed, 10 workstations will be available, but only seven will be used. In the meantime, county officials recommend trying one of the other four License Center locations. Preparation work is underway for another major road construction project on Hanson Boulevard. The Anoka County Board recently awarded a $4.6 million contract for the project, which will take place between Highway 10 and Main Street. The four-lane roadway will get raised medians down the middle and new turn lanes on both sides. There will also be improvements for pedestrians. Hanson won't be completely shut down, but motorists should expect major delays with just one lane of traffic in each direction for much of the year. The fire department is hanging out the help wanted sign looking for people interested in becoming paid on call firefighters. There are currently 20 paid on call members of the department who assist the career firefighters on the scene of fires or by staffing the stations when everyone else is tied up. They train twice a month and must be physically fit and ready to do hands-on work. The minimum requirements are they have to be 18 years old, they have to have a GED, and they have to have a valid driver's license. After that, they just need to live within 10 minutes of one of our fire stations. So that puts anybody in Coon Rapids, uh, half of Andover, half of Blaine, part of Anoka, uh, part of Fridley, Brooklyn Park, any one of those surrounding communities that live in that 10 minute uh, response zone can be and apply to be a paid on call firefighter for us. Candidates must pass a written test, physical agility test, and a series of interviews. All the training necessary is provided. For more information, log on to the city's website at coonrapidsmn.gov and click on the Fire Department tab. Applications are being accepted until April 25th. A huge art installation is in the works at Anoka Ramsey Community College. Dozens of students, alumni, and community members came together this week for a painting party. As CTN's Jennifer Anderson discovered, the finished product will be a 1,000 square foot mural on campus. All this work is about bridging. Inside the Visual Arts Center at Anoka Ramsey Community College. We work dark to light. Color and community. Like the complexity of our stories. Blend together. This paint party is one more step in a month's long process. So what number do you want? It's paint by number on a massive scale. Do you want more or are you done? Hundreds of people are painting dozens of panels that will eventually combine to make a 1,000 square foot mural on the Coon Rapids campus. So at the helm, we go forward, is Greta McLean owner and artistic director of Good Space Murals. And we started to just like feel out what would a connected community look like? If we say we want you to feel safe here, when do you feel safe? What does that look like when you are safe? And just listening, we, we gather feedback from over 500 people. Here you go. And then the brush sizes are done there. Student mural mentees, okay. like Miles Gruber, helped gather input from hundreds of people on campus. Stories, uh, their colors, their ethnicity, um, what they believe in. It's going to be able to, you know, have people like open up, you know, look at it, ask more questions about it. Um, being more curious and more welcome to the school. Each stroke is a piece of the whole. Many hands working together to bridge the many differences that make up a college community. We are just offering the idea that maybe this space is different. So that when people walk in, they're like, oh, I feel different here. I'm going to try to show up in a different way. For Community Update, I'm Jennifer Anderson. Anoka Ramsey Community College received a $56,000 grant 
from the Minnesota State Arts Board to fund the Community Mural Project. Organizers hope to unveil the finished piece in May. A special drawing Wednesday evening attracted a big crowd at the Coon Rapids City Center. 80 homeowners were chosen to receive grants as part of the Front Door Program, which offers money to homeowners who want to improve the outside of their property. In all, $215,000 was given out by the Coon Rapids Home Improvement Foundation. More than 300 people applied for a grant this year. The sounds of the accordion filled the Coon Rapids Civic Center Thursday evening. Richard Zaplinski performed as part of the annual Dessert and Coffee Concert Series, which is sponsored by the Coon Rapids Arts Commission. The city is still determining if the last concert in the series, April 9th, will go on as planned or if it will be canceled in light of public health concerns. You can check the city's website for more information and that is the best way to stay up to date here on cancellations as uh, things are very fluid in the coming weeks. That's going to do it for us today. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you back here again next week.